I remember this day so vividly. I was, that was my first year at a school called Alapata Elementary, and I was in the first grade. On this day, I recall, I woke up in the morning. I had peed in the bed the night before. I was a pissy mess. It smelled really bad, and I didn't have time to take a shower because I, I knew that if I showered, I would miss my bus. My hair wasn't done, and um, I just found something out of my closet that I thought would look okay, and off to school I went. Oh my God, I felt so ugly this day. I felt so bad. I, I felt I was ashamed. I was embarrassed. And that day, the teacher in my classroom actually <laughs> drew a lot of attention to me because she said, what's that smell? And then she came to me and she said, that's you. You smell like a pissy mess. Why didn't you take a shower this morning? A lot of the kids laughed. And she berated me and made me feel like I was an other. Nonetheless, I, I got into a line and I proceeded to take this picture. And I sat down in front of the cameraman and I had my head down initially. And um, I said, I want to take a picture. And he said, to smile anyway, and just say cheese. And I did my absolute best to put my shame, the hurt and embarrassment aside and I smiled for him. <sighs> Looking at this picture now, <laughs> I was beautiful. I thought my skin was too dark, thought my lips were too big, thought my teeth were too crooked, <laughs> thought my forehead was too wide and my hair was too nappy. I didn't love myself. I wasn't really raised to truly love myself and to appreciate the beauty that I had. And it's so sad. Whenever I see this picture, I feel sad because I remember this day so vividly and I, and I hate it looking into the mirror. I was a beautiful little girl. And it's so sad that it took me a very long time to understand my beauty. You know, I say my hair wasn't done in that in this picture. It wasn't. I this is a hairstyle I had in my head for a few days and I slept on it a lot. So my hair wasn't brushed or anything. But my hair is actually it's beautiful, you know. It's not, you know, perfectly, you know, laid down and everything, you know, the way I would do my daughter's hair. But it's my natural hair, and uh, it's okay. You know, but, you know, I was raised in a, in a society, in a, in a community that put you down for having kinky hair, that put you down for not having your hair made up in a way that they thought was acceptable or beautiful. And um, I grew up in, the, in a broken, a broken place, I believe, even though I had both parents. So it was a broken environment, it was a broken household. And I was missing a lot. I was forced because of the way I was raised in the my upbringing, I, I, I was forced to be an observer. I observed people a lot. I sat back and I analyzed people a lot. And I would ask questions like, why do they do that? Why do they talk that way? Why would they treat someone that way? And that's something that, I, that I've never been able to escape. I, I to this day, <laughs> sit and just analyze people and think about human nature, the way that we treat others, and why we treat others the way that we do. It's very important to me to, 
It's part of who I am. And that's why I'm so, so mindful to, how should I say, I'm mindful in my approach to other people. I'm mindful to speak and say what I mean and definitely mean what I say because words are so powerful. If I tell you that I love you, love is an action word. I understand that it is what it does and not what it says. So if I tell you that I love you, I'm going to treat you as such. You're going to feel it. It is important. <laughs> all right, so I'm kind of rambling now, but I, I, I wanted to share this picture with you all because I used to be ashamed of this picture. And, you know, sadly, this is the only picture that I have of myself. Um, I don't want to, you know, jump to conclusions, but my parents never took a lot of pictures of me. I've seen pictures of my other siblings. Not many of me. So I cherish this picture. It's the only one that I have. And I hope you guys <laughs> enjoy looking at this beautiful little face. Because uh, this little girl here, even though she didn't feel like she was worth much of anything, <laughs> today she stand. 44 years old, loving herself. And she came out of that in one piece. One piece with a lot of broken pieces glued together. But she is standing. <laughs> Love yourself. And if, if you were not raised in an environment to love yourself, create that environment for yourself today. Do not allow people to validate you. Validate yourself. Invest in yourself. Embrace yourself. Like really though, really, truly, literally embrace yourself. Take time to get to know who you are. So that way, no one could ever come to you and tell you who you are.